Hey guys, in my flood coolant video, I talked about this really awful sheet metal break that I made and I wanted to show it to you. This is made up of three boards. I happen to have some glued up plywood, but you could use two by fours for all three of these boards. That would work just fine. Uh, two three inch drywall screws and uh, two door hinges. These literally came off a door in my house. And then I just clamped the whole thing down to my bench and it worked great. I'm bending some really thin soft aluminum. I think this is 5,000 series aluminum and it's 32 thousandths thick. This thing is not very strong, so I'd, I'm not sure I would be able to do ducting tin. I didn't actually try it. But I mean, if you put a little thought into it, you could come up with something 10 times better. But I wanted to do something fast and simple so I could make my stepper covers. Uh, that way they wouldn't get, you know, my steppers wouldn't get soaked by the flood coolant. But yeah, you look at that. I mean, almost 90 degrees. I had to finish the bend by hand a little bit, but it worked really fine. If you take a look at the hinges, you'll notice that the pin or barrel is lined up right on the edge of the fixed part of the uh, of the brake. And the reason for that is when you fold up the other part, it's going to create a gap. And that's just because of the, the way that the hinge works, this type of hinge. And you want that gap to be in the in the vertical plane. That's why you need to line those uh, that barrel or the hinge pin up the way you saw in that last clip. Anyway, let me show you one other shot. This is me actually bending up one of my stepper covers. And uh, I've already laid out the aluminum exactly how I want to bend it. So all I have to do is screw this down a little bit. Since it's been screwed down before, I can easily line it up with the holes uh, from the first time. Slip in the metal and then do a couple of bends and it comes out looking pretty good. I do have to finish the bends by hand again and that's because the, uh, the metal's got some springiness to it. And all metal is like that. You're not going to get perfect 90 degree bends unless you're able to force the brake past 90 degrees, which I can't do because it's running up against a two by four. Anyway, in the next shot, I'll show you how they looked on the mill in case you've forgotten. And that's everything I wanted to show you. So go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're not a regular, and we'll see you in one of the next videos.